Hey guys, Eugene Kate Sith here, and today I would like to show you Windor 4 hotkeys. And I am not exaggerating when I say this will completely change the way you multibox for the better. But first, I would like to shamelessly plug my Twitch channel. Uh, if you guys didn't already know, I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, we recently added something called Channel Points. Channel Points is something you get just by watching the stream that you can later redeem into in-game rewards such as Aeonic Clear. Wave 3 Mega Boss Clear, uh, Random Omen Boss Drop, Random Malignant's Armor Drop. Very, very cool rewards, actually. Ambu Clear for only 5k points. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, please feel free to check out the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it, but let's get on to the guide. So you're going to need some things before we start. Uh, you're going to need Windor 4, obviously, which you can get from the Windor 4 website. Um... You need the send add-on once you have the window uh, ready to go. You send add-on, you need the gear swap add-on, and the shortcuts add-on. Um, and then on top of that, you will need the send all target add-on, which you need to get outside of the window for a directory. And then uh, uh, my GitHub, which I'll have my INIT file on that you can use to copy paste and use the things I've already set up. And then, lastly, there is a cheat sheet on the Windor Net uh, website for the uh, for the uh, buttons you can use to use as hotkeys. Which is right here. It shows you what the modifier is and what the button is. And that translates over to this. But first off, what can hotkeys do? Think of hotkeys like extra macros, but you have many more of them and you can put them anywhere you want. They are especially useful for multi-boxers because you can control all of your other characters with hotkeys without having to alt tab using send and send all target in your hotkeys. So essentially it's exactly what it says. It's essentially just more macros, but you can bind them to these uh, whatever keys you want, which uh, makes it a lot easier to use, and it allows you to control your other characters with, without actually alt tabbing to them. So one of my number one questions I get on stream um, is how do I control my white mage? What bot do you use, or something like that? Because I hear so efficiently, people think that you know it, it must be some sort of uh, third-party program or something, but nope. The truth is, I just use this stuff right here. Just hot, I hotkey all of my white mage stuff, so I can do stuff like this. So, like, if I just hit the delete key, my white mage does cure five on Eugen. If I hit the home key, my cure my white mage is cure four on Eugen. And then you can change that to other character. So, control delete. This cure five on a different character, and so on. And you can do that with a, with basically whatever you want. Sublim, Hotkey Sublim, the Spelliga, Sleepga. Now, now that we talked about Sleepga, though, that is something you would want to use the Send All Target add-on for, which you can find here on Slyndril's GitHub. Slyndril is the author. A lot of people probably use Slyndril's gear swap already because they are fantastic. Um, but what this allows you to do is basically allows you to run up to a mob. It doesn't need to be, be claimed. It doesn't need to be a BT um, or anything. Uh, you just, and it'll allow your character to cast on it. Now, marrying that with a hotkey allows you to do that without having to you know, actually be on that character. Now remember, this has built-in send in it, so you don't do send, send all target. So essentially, like right here, I just walk up to the mob, I hit my hotkey. Probably better to have names on. I hit my hotkey, and my mage is cast on it. See? Whatever target I want. And now I'll target back to this one. See, this is, this is probably an issue a lot of people have, where like, which one's the BT? Well, I want to cast on the Bard right now, but BT might be the stupid Rune Fencer. 
Well, with Send All Target, it basically gets the mob ID, and you'll always cast on the mob that your main window is focused on. So, like, I'm gonna stun the bard right here with my hotkey. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about BT stunning the room fencer instead. And you can do that basically with all sorts of stuff, like you know, finale. Right? And that with finale. Elegy, and so on. Pr pretty much any debuff you want. Very useful. Mo the most useful for me is Sleep Guy, though. So I highly recommend taking a look at that one. But more useful things. Alright, oh, like indie spells. Most use indie spells, this is especially useful for Geo, so if you want to swap up your, your Geo, you can do Sublim for your White Mage to make sure that's always up. Um, you can hotkey your most used indie spells, Malaise, Fury, Acumen. What I also like to do for my Geo... And I'll show you guys this in my INIT quick. Like I said, I will be uploading my INIT to my GitHub, so you guys will be able to see all of this and use it uh, for yourselves. I'm just showing you some examples of what you can do with it right now. So, for example, if I press Alt, Page Down, I can sleep this. If I press Shift, F9, it gets my Geo to automatically do Blaze of Glory, um, EA, all the job abilities for Geo, for Frailty. And then, obviously, like, Shift F10 is Malaise, Shift F11 is Wilt, and so on. You can do that, basically, with anything you want, whatever fits your needs. Oh, another example is if you use the Auto Weapon Skill add-on, you can use it to toggle on and off your auto weapon skill very quickly and you can also use it to change the weapon skills on your mules and slash your main so for wave three i like to swap between Aluian edge for the adds and then back to leaden for the mega boss itself so what these hotkeys allowed me to do is stay focused on my main Egen, and then swap their weapon skills via hotkey instead of, you know, alt-tabbing to each one individually, which is something I actually used to do, and it was really a pain in the butt, and I'm really happy I swapped to this. Okay, guys, now that all the examples are out of the way, uh, keep in mind you can do a ton more. Basically, your imagination is the limit. The only main problem is how much you can remember in your muscle memory, so remember it takes a lot of practice and a lot of, uh, you know, just remembering where you put your hotkeys, uh, but eventually it makes things way way easier but let's show you guys how to do one from scratch so I conceptually you need to think where do you want to put your hotkey and what do you want it to do so I want a hotkey that here's my core mule so I'm gonna look at the Chi Chi on the windower thing I want control delete to cure five my um my core mule shred okay so control is the modifier is this right so i want to do bind modifier then you're modifying the delete key right so this will be control delete send yarhi cure five shred then you save it just save see uh, make sure you open Notepad as administrator, by the way. Very important. Sometimes it won't let you save if you don't do it. There. Alright, and then to um, reload your INIT, uh, you just do uh, send all, which I have aliased to just be SA. Um, send all EXEC INIT. That's all you do. 
that will re-execute the INIT file on all your characters. We will do control delete. Oh, wait, we should cure five shred, and there you go. Let's use an example with um, stun. Because this one's very useful also. I've actually really been enjoying manually stunning in events like uh, Ambu. This one's Ambuscade. And Dynamis Divergence Wave 3. It's actually really useful to engage all your characters, um, let them get some TP, and then stun the mob like a thief, and then have all your characters weapons go at the same time and basically kill it before it gets out of stun. So no no more invincibles or perp dodges or anything on the on the normal ads. Uh, but essentially right here, so essentially the modifier is at end key. So if you look at the cheat sheet again, that is the windows key. At and then send all target. So for this you'll have to look at the send all target. U command right here. It performs an action on the sender's target. So Ejin is the sender. And then it's and then Eerie my Geo is the receiver. So if I press Windows end, it will execute this set SAT command, which will have Irritant stunned my stun my current target on Ejin. Now if you alt tab to a different character and you hit the same hotkey, send all target will still work. Eerie will still stun the target that that window is focused on, even Eerie herself. And then you can just add an echo to everyone to just notify you that you used done. Just in case. Not, not actually necessary, but uh, I like it sometimes. And essentially, like I said, I will, I will upload this to my GitHub. You guys can use all of this. Um, and, you know, let me know if you think of anything else really cool. Um, by no means is this all perfect. It's just what I've added over a long period of time. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Um, and you remember to check me out on Twitch also, where I stream every day uh, from usually like 2 to 3 p.m. to late into the night. Uh, but thank you again, everyone. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I'll see you guys later. Take care.